Hello. About a month ago now, at the time of recording this, Lethal Company had its one year anniversary. If you don't know what Lethal Company is, you've been living under a rock for the past year, but basically it is a very fun party game that has blown up made by a solo developer. So I wanted to revisit this game to see how it holds up one year later. Not only because Lethal Company is a good game, but it's a game near and dear to my heart. So today I am here to answer the question, does Lethal Company hold up one year later? Well let's find out. Alright. Lethal Company moment. It's like I never left baby. get for showing off. <clears throat> okay, we're actually gonna go through the front door. I, I, I ain't gonna do no tricks or nothing. Tricks are for babies. They're for losers. Little gremlins. We're just gonna play the game normally. Like, how... How is this game held up? Hello? Oh. Hi. Well, that's not menacing at all. I don't know when I should start telling this story. Just for, like, when something to talk about. Don't you dare young man but uh i don't know god how long was it ago definitely like eight plus months ago right uh the speed running category for like solo q10 right you know like survive 10 different areas get you know a thousand money or whatever right i did try to uh speed run that category again it's mainly inspired by a uh, astral spiss video on it and I was like you know what that actually seems really fun and cool so I got the spreadsheet I got the live split timer and yada 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 and I started doing that practicing a lot uh, off you know camera and stream and all that but I never actually ended up actually like never doing it like the furthest I ever got was like quarter six like <laughs> I was just I was I was not really cut out for it but I did have a lot of fun doing it I just like I wanted to prove that like okay I can get to like quarter eight quarter nine you know before i started like really recording my runs i did record like some of my first ever attempts at it just because like it's funny i would have been pissed so if i actually like started doing it and i didn't record any of it but i had a feeling like, it's gonna take a long time but i learned a lot of guides and videos or whatnot trying to speed run this but never came to flourishing and after i think literally like three months of doing it i was just like yeah this is this is not my cup of tea, you know, not not my, not exactly going well for me, so I gave up. And that kind of burnt me out of this game, honestly, just because it's really demoralizing trying to do something and it's just not panning out. Like right now, I'd be being like really greedy in these runs. Granted, it was only like 12, but normally by like 2 p.m., like you're out, you're done. Like one like good loot run and you were done. Maybe these like early times. Where, like, it's quarter one, you can definitely take more risks, and that's what I did do. That's actually ended up how most of my runs died, because it would be, like, 5 p.m. I'd be like, fuck, dude, there's, like, three more pieces of loot. There, I can go get it. And I died to, like, dogs outside. Yeah, like, this time right now, this is, like, way overdue for leaving. Usually the second that sun in icon is, like, setting is when you want to get out. Luckily, no dogs. 5 p.m. no dogs is kind of crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I just had to open my big fat fucking mouth now, did I? <laughs> Worm. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> had to open my big fat mouth. Rainy. I ain't want no fucking rainy day. Because I was actually speedrunning this game for so long and like beehives weren't allowed, I actually never really went to any like the uh like green lush maps too much just because it was wasn't worth it sometimes half the value of loot there in those maps were beehives and you couldn't really use them so let's go to a nice green lush planet because i can not that going to these planets weren't allowed it just wasn't ideal to okay this is this i, I was about to be so confused for a second hello big oh hello I don't think I've gotten you yet, actually. I forgot. New Minds update just dropped, guys. 
Yay! I'm so happy about this information. And there's a jingle. Didn't even acknowledge the jingle. Hello? Anybody home? Come on. This ain't no way to treat your guests. Okay. Locked. What about you? You ain't locked. Apologize if you hear my dog snoring again. I can never keep this fucker out during recordings. Blue? Why are you- Why are you blue? Oh. Okay. I don't know if that's like a new scary monster or not, actually. That actually scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me, dude. Holy shit. Alright, we gotta clutch up, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, note to self, mines. Not fun. Not, not fun place to be. This Fanta got me feeling stylish. Fanta got me feeling stylish. Hey, no big scary brolic. Black monster, come touch me. Hey, that's our ball, ain't it? There's no way a soccer ball is a two-handed item, by the way. That's some poor shit. Hold on, I want to drop off this soccer ball. Soccer ball is crazy. Never seen this before. Actually, kick. <laughs> Shocking. 67 smack of Thanks. Well, I can't say this game still doesn't scare me. Fanta got me feeling stylish. Fanta got me feeling stylish. Well, that's our ball, ain't it? Whoop. Well, I guess we can call it a day. I don't wanna be too risky. What is that? What, what are you? Seems kind of cute. Looks like a raccoon almost. Oh, it's one of you guys. Yeah, you guys aren't cute. Okay. Hi, right, what's up? You want to come home with me? Fuck! Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> What's the boss gonna say about this one? <gasps> God dang it! I thought it was foggy for a second. I was about to be like, God damn it. All right. So this round brings me a little bit more luck. Remote though. Remember, remember me and my friends were like, this remote turns on and off the ship light. Stop pressing the remote. And honestly, I have no idea if that's true or not. But to have a remote, we can test that out. Spam and Q so I can have a little bit of light to see. You fucking right mouse button. There was a mine right there, dude. I would have been cooked. Don't worry, there's plenty of mines to pass around. But that's gonna be the noise playing in my head whenever this upload this video, and it's gonna be like a 10 out of 10 because it's not Roblox and it's not like hating on something. <gasps> Yo, <laughs> I swear to God, I did not know this. That's actually nuts. I did. 
I thought they were always just like yapping on about that. I need to look through back my old lethal company to see if I did know that. What? I swear to God, I didn't know that. That's crazy. One more day, gentlemen. Let's, let's do a classic, actually. Go back to the first map everybody went to. I think for my final destination before I sell. Go back to an absolute classic. Let's go down memory lane. Giant pumpkins. Well, I just keep finding you now, don't I? Okay, I thought that was more or less guaranteed to have stuff in it. What about you? Excuse me? Hey, I don't, I, 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 mister, I don't like you in my little domicile. <clears throat> this is my own private domicile and I will not be harassed. Bitch. Fuck you. Jesus. You got me fucked up. Get me out of here. I do not remember being that scared by the bracken. Each and every time. That first, like, jump scare man was, like, understandable. You literally just caught me so off guard. But that second one. Like, he opened the door. He created tension. Like, he knew. There was... He knew what was going down. He's like, oh, I got him the first time. I can get this guy again. Pussy. Stinky. Loser. Loser, whiny baby Kyra. Now this is the part of the video where I do have a short script and a summary about things that I did want to talk about before I do end the video. I also do think it is worth mentioning that I did not see some new updated features that I've actually have yet to play with. For example, like the robot monsters or the company cruiser and some other tidbits of added content that is new to the game. But also, I did not visit any of the more expensive moons. Granted, the gameplay is still like the base game like you saw in the past 13 minutes, but just a little bit harder and provides a bit more loot. But more or less, Lethal Company is kind of like a looter, horror, survival party game. I don't really know what kind of genre it really falls under, but it's fun, and there's a whole lot more fun with friends. Not to mention, this game has heavy mod support so modding this game makes it infinitely better and you can do a lot more things with mods. And even if you have played it recently and haven't modded it before, I recommend you try maybe downloading some mods for the game. It gets infinitely better and there's a ton out there. Like seriously, the modding community for this game is great. And it brings a whole new level of excitement. There, there can be new moons, weapons, creatures, loot, like literally anything. Now you could have argued that this whole video could have been a voiceover of me explaining the pros, cons, and everything in between about Lethal Company and why it does or does not hold up a year later. But I do not have that much time to make that big of a script at the moment. So with all that being said, I do hope that you did enjoy this video. And if you did, consider hitting like and subscribe. I make plenty of different kinds of videos. And even if you decide you don't like me later, you can always unsubscribe. Trust me, my feelings won't be hurt. And uh, yeah, Lethal Company does in fact hold up one year later.